Hello everyone, today let's talk about number systems, base conversion or arithmetic. We have first decimal. Decimal means base 10, where that C is one tenth of a whole. Ten numbers in a decimal system are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. 0 to 9, so we have 10 numbers. Now, let us have binary arithmetic. So, when we say binary, it is a base 2, where two numbers are 0 and 1. Next, we have binary addition. So, we have four cases in binary addition. Case 1, 0 plus 0 is equal to 0, carry 0. Case 2, 0 plus 1 is equal to 1, carry 0. Case 3, 1 plus 0 is equal to 1, carry 0. Case 4, 1 plus 1 is equal to 0, carry 1. Since we, are, we only have two numbers in a binary, so we have 1 and 0, therefore, we can have a sum which is 2 because uh, the numbers, the only numbers in a binary system is 2, only 2, which are 0 and 1. Now we have here an example of addition. Let us add 00110102 zero zero one one zero one zero two zero zero one one zero zero and the answer will be zero one zero zero one one zero. Now let's proceed to binary subtraction. Subtraction and borrow. These two words will be used very frequently for the binary subtraction. There are four rules of binary subtraction. Case number one, zero minus zero is equal to zero, borrow zero. Case number two, one minus zero is equal to one, borrow zero. Case number three, one minus one is equal to zero, borrow zero. Case number four, zero minus one is equal to zero, borrow one. Now, let us have an example of binary subtraction. Let us subtract 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0 to 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0. The answer must be 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0. You, you just have to follow those cases in order to get the final answer. Now, let's proceed to binary multiplication. So, as usual, we have four cases for binary multiplication. First case, 0 times 0 is equal to 0. Case number 2, 0 times 1 is equal to 0. Case number 3, 1 times 0 is equal to 0. Case number 4, 1 times 1 is equal to 1. Let us have an example of binary multiplication. 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0 times 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0 must be equal to 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0. You just have to follow those steps or table in order to get the or arrive at the exact answer. Now, let us have binary division. In binary division, it is similar to decimal division. It is called as the long division procedure. Let us have an example of binary division. Let us divide 101010 to 000110 and the answer will be 111. Now, let us have octal arithmetic. Octal means base 8, where 8 numbers are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So from 0 to 7, there are 8 numbers, including 0. Now, let us have octal addition. Okay, following this table will help you answer, get the exact answer. Okay, 
Just read, take note. Okay. So if we are going to add 456 base 8 plus 123 base 8, this must be equal to 601 base 8. Eight, okay, so you uh, that's the use of a table. You're going to take a look of your table to get the final answer Let us have octal subtraction the subtraction of octal numbers follows the same rules as the subtraction of numbers in any other number system the only variation is in borrowed number in the decimal system you borrow a group of 10 in the binary system, you borrow a group, group of 2 base 10. In the octal system, you borrow a group of 8 base 10. Okay, now let's subtract 456 base 8 minus 173 base 8. So 6 minus 3 is equal to 3. 5 minus 7 cannot be. So we are going to borrow from the left side, which is 4. And the 4 will become... 3 and 5 will become what? Okay. 8 plus. Okay. 8 plus 5 is equal to 13. Okay. 13 minus 7 is equal to 6. Okay. That is why. Now, 3 minus 1 is equal to 2. And the answer will be 263 base 8. Now let us have hexadecimal arithmetic. In hexadecimal, hexa means 6 and decimal means 10. In hexa, so we have 6 letters where which are A, B, C, D, E, and F. In the decimal number system, as usual, we have... We have... 0 to 9 numbers or 10 numbers okay so in, in hexa a stands for 11 b stands for 12 c stands for 13 and so on okay hexadecimal number system you can pause the video if you want to read further Let us have an example of hexadecimal number system. Okay, hexadecimal addition. Following hexadecimal addition table will help you greatly to handle hexadecimal addition. Take note of this table. Now let us have an example. A base 16 plus 5 base 16 is equal to F base 16 since A plus 5 in the table is equal to F base 16. Okay, an example of addition. So 4A6 plus 1B3 is equal to 659 base 16. Based on the table, you are going to take a look at your table to get the exact answer. Now let's proceed to hexadecimal subtraction. The subtraction of hexadecimal numbers follow the same rules as the subtraction of numbers in any other number system. The only variation is in borrowed number. In the decimal system, you borrow a group of 10 base 10. In the binary system, you borrow a group of 2 base 10. In the hexadecimal system, you borrow a group of 16 base 10. Let us have an example of subtraction, hexadecimal subtraction. 4A6 minus 1B3 is equal to 2F3. By the use of your table, you can get the exact answer of this one. Now, let's proceed to conversion. First, we are going to convert decimal to binary, octal, and hexadecimal. Number 2. Converting binary to octal, hexadecimal, and decimal. Number three, 
Converting octal to binary, hexadecimal, and decimal. Number four, converting hexadecimal to binary, octal, and decimal. First, converting decimal to binary, octal, and hexadecimal. A repeated division and remainder algorithm can convert decimal to binary, octal, or hexadecimal. First, you are going to divide the decimal number by the desired target radix, which are 2, 8, or 16. Second, append the remainder as the next most significant digit. Number three, repeat until the decimal number has reached zero. So we have here decimal to binary subtraction method. Okay, so we have here 75. How are we going to convert uh, 75 to binary? Now, which is or what is the next number which is lower than 75? Okay, it is 64. Therefore, you're going to subtract 75 to 64. 75 minus 64 is equal to 11. Now, what is the next number that is lower than 11? That is 8. Therefore, 11 minus 8 is equal to 3. Now, the next number that is lower than 3 is 2. Therefore, 3 minus 2 is equal to 1. Now, 64. So, we have 64, 8, 2, 64, 8, 2, and 1. So, the, the square number, the square digit must be equal to 1. And those numbers that aren't squared, aren't put a square, you're going to, or that will serve as 0. So, therefore, 64 is equivalent to 1. 32 is equivalent to 0. 16 is equivalent to one okay oh either 16 is equivalent to zero eight is equivalent to one four is equivalent to zero two is equivalent to one therefore we have one zero zero one zero one one Now let's convert decimal to octal. 394 base 10. So how are we going to convert decimal to octal? Now let's divide since this is octal. So we are going to divide this number which is 394 to 8. 394 divided by 8 is 49.25. Remainder to... 49 divided by 8 is equal to 6, remainder 1. 6 divided by 8 is equal to 0, remainder 6. Now let's arrange these numbers into the, from the most significant digit to the least significant digit. So we have 6, 1, and 2, base 8. 6, 1, 2, base 8. Now, let's proceed to decimal, uh, from decimal to hexadecimal. Let's say we have here 10. Okay, 16. We have here a table. Now, let's convert for 79 base 10. Okay, so, since this is hexadecimal or 16, so we are going to divide this number into 16. 479 divided by 16 is... 29 remainder 15 29 divided by 16 is equal to 1 remainder 13 1 divided by 16 is equal to 0 remainder 1 now let's arrange this one from the most significant digit to the least significant digit okay so we have here 1 13 or in the table which is d 15 which is f so, therefore, we have 1 D F. Base 16. Now, let us have number 2. Converting binary to octal, hexadecimal, and decimal. An easy way to convert from binary to octal is to group binary digits into 3. 
starting with the least significant digit. Okay, now let us have binary oct to octal. We have here a table and a binary number, which is 110101. Now let's convert that one to octal. Now let's group these numbers, these binary numbers, into three 110. And 101. So in 110, since we have here two raised to zero, two raised to one, two raised to two. So the number which is zero in zero side, you're going to cancel out that one, or that is not included in adding a number. Okay, so we have here 110. So, you are just going to include 2 raised to 2 and 2 raised to 1. So, let's not include 2 raised to 0. Therefore, 2 raised to 2 is equal to 4. 2 raised to 1 is equal to 2. And if we are going that to add that these two numbers, this will be equal to 6. 4 plus 2 is equal to 6. Okay, now the other side. 1, 0, 1. So, what numbers are you going to include? So, we are only going to include 2 raised to 2 and 2 raised to 0. 2 raised to 2 is equal to 4 and 2 raised to 0 is equal to 1. So, 4 plus 1 is equal to 5 or the answer is 65 base 8. Next, we have binary to hexadecimal. Again, let us have a binary number, 10110111. Now, let us divide this one into 4. So, we have 1011 and 0111. Here is the process in getting the answer. Okay, again, you're not going to include those zero side. Binary to decimal. Again, one zero one zero. So you're going to cancel out those zero on zero numbers. So since two raised to two is on zero number and two raised to zero is on zero number, we are going to cancel them out. We are only in, we are going to include two raised to three and 2 raised to 1. 2 raised to 3 is equal to... Okay, 8. 8 plus 2 is equal to 10. The answer is 10. Number 3. Octal to binary. Converting from octal to binary is as easy as converting from binary to octal. Simply look up each octal digit to obtain the equivalent group of three binary digits. Now let us have 56 base 8. Okay, so here is the process in getting the or in converting octal number to binary. Next, we have octal to the hexadecimal. Okay, so we have here 213 base 8. Now, here is the process in getting the exact answer. Just like what we did. Okay, now if you're going to look at our table, 11 is equivalent to B. Therefore, the answer is 8B, base 16.
Now let's convert an octal number to decimal. So we have here 370 base 8. Here is the process. Okay, the answer will be 248 base 10. Now let's proceed to number 4, converting hexadecimal to binary, octal, and decimal. Hexadecimal to binary. Let's convert A9 base 16 to binary. Here is the process. Okay, did you get it? Now, hexadecimal to octal. Let us convert AC base 16 to octal. Here are the steps. Okay, group into three. Zero, one, zero, one, zero, one, and one, zero, zero. Okay, 2 raised to 0, 2 raised to 1, which is 2, 2 raised to 2, which is 4. And you're going to only, uh, you're only going to include those numbers that has 1 or equivalent to 1. So in the first one, 0, 1, 0, you're going to include only number 2. And in 1, 0, 1, you're only going to include 4 and 1. And in 101, you're only going to include number 4. Therefore, we have 2, 5, and 4. The answer is 254, base 8. Next, we have hexadecimal to decimal. Now, let's convert to 23E, base 16. 16 squared, 16 to the power of 1, 16 raised to 0. Okay, here is the steps. Here are the steps. The answer is 574 base 10. Where E is equivalent to 14. Okay, that's all for today. Thank you for listening.